At the LAAD 2025 Defense Expo held in Rio de Janeiro from April 1 to 4, BAE Systems Haglands introduced a cutting-edge iteration of its CV-90120 light tank, built to tackle current battlefield demands. The reveal came via a video on the company's official YouTube channel, showcasing the new design and technological improvements. According to Tarkhan Turkkan, director of the CV-90 platform at BAE Haglands, the latest model features a comprehensive overhaul of its electronic systems, emphasizing full digital integration. While the chassis design is largely consistent with the proven CV-90 infantry fighting vehicle, the internal configuration has been notably updated. The section formerly occupied by the crew has been restructured to house additional 120mm ammunition, streamlining operational efficiency. From a logistical standpoint, the commonality with the CV-90 platform means operators benefit from reduced maintenance complexity. The driving, targeting, and command systems are shared with other CV-90 variants, minimizing the need for unique training or specialized components. The tank's firepower centers around a 120mm CTG, compact tank gun, originally engineered by Swiss Ordnance Works, now RUAG Land Systems. This weapon system delivers performance comparable to that of standard main battle tanks. The tank can carry 40 shells, 10 of which are ready to fire in the turret's autoloader, while the remaining 30 are stored in the hull. Supplementing the main cannon, the new CV-90120 variant is expected to incorporate either a coaxial machine gun or a compact Gatling-style gun. A key highlight is the remote-controlled weapon station designed specifically for intercepting drones, reflecting the increasing importance of counter-UAV measures on the modern battlefield. For survivability, the base armor is retained from the CV-90 IFV, but the vehicle supports the integration of extra modular armor components, including roof protection. It also comes equipped with a modern active protection system coupled with a laser warning receiver to enhance threat detection and neutralization. Despite the futuristic look in the promo video, actual footage captured by Zona Milita during the exhibition reveals some differences. Notably, the display model did not appear to feature the coaxial machine gun mentioned in the video. Earlier in 2025, the Slovak Ministry of Defense expressed strong interest in the Swedish CV90120T platform. Citing financial constraints, Slovak officials see this light tank as a cost-effective alternative to pricier options like the Leopard 2A8. The deal could potentially allow Slovakia to expand its armored forces more economically while maintaining modern combat capability.